What's going on, everybody? This is Ryan A. Polk, and welcome to the wrap-up. And I know it's been a minute, but that's what happens when you have too much damn space on your phone. So let's get started to the reviews. And we'll start with my first one from, from the movie that I saw since my most recent review, Talk to Me. And this is a horror movie where it's about this hand that where you grab this hand and if you say, talk to me, I let you in, then you have the ability to contact spirits. And in this movie, you got a group of friends that, that use that hand to contact some spirits, but then one of them takes this shit too far and they are in for a world of some, some spiritual shit. And when I first saw the trailer for this, I didn't even, to be honest, I didn't know if I even had wanted to even see this movie. Because it didn't really look like it was all that good. But then one of my, one of my besties, she had, she had convinced me to go see it. And, you know, I had saw it. And you want to know something? It was surprisingly a good movie. It was surprisingly good. It did surprise me. You know, because when I saw the trailer... And when I saw how, like, you know, the eyes was getting all black and stuff, I'm like, okay, so they say, now that's some demonic shit. You know, I don't be fucking with demonic shit. I mean, I'm a horror fan, but anything with satanic, demonic shit, nah, man, I can't. Which is why I will be fucking with movies like The Exorcist and The Omen, shit like that. But, you know, this movie, this movie wasn't necessarily like that. And this movie, you know, like, the storyline of it was pretty interesting. I mean, I know it's been doing good in the box office that they made a sequel to it. And, you know, the storyline of it, it was a it was a pretty good storyline. The acting was good. I wasn't familiar with the actors or actresses that was in the movie, especially the main the main actress. You know, uh, yeah, I wasn't too, wasn't too familiar with her, but the acting was good. And you no, know, and then and from from the beginning to end, you know, it did keep me entertained. No, I thought that it, I thought it would be boring sometimes, and I thought it was going to start off slow, but it didn't. The flow of the movie did keep me, did, did keep me watching, and definitely did not have me dozing off or nothing like that. And the movie, doing. if you're a fan of horror movies, then I think you will like this movie. And if you're a fan when it comes to watching movies about cursed objects and shit like that, then yeah, I think you'll like this movie too, because... That's what this movie kind of puts you in a place off when you're dealing with something very cursed. And if you're a fan of ghost stories, which I'm a fan of ghost stories, then you all then you will like this movie. And this movie, you know, it has been, I mean, like I said, it's been kicking ass in the box office. Then they announced a second one. And I would go see the second one because judging by how the way it ended, you no, know, it seems like a second one could go more deep. You know, until about, you know, the, you know, within this, like, franchise, if it becomes a franchise, really, well, you know, you know, they are making a second one already, but, I don't know, I mean, I felt, okay, I felt like if I was to say too much on that, then, then, yeah, I'll probably be spoiling it, and that's not what I do here on the wrap-up, don't spoil, so, you know, talk to me, though, yeah, I mean, if you're, you know, if you're a fan of stuff like that, like I had just mentioned, then, yes, I think you will enjoy this movie, and the movie also, you know, it, it, it definitely does, like, it was giving out some, like, some messages and some hints and stuff like that onto what you think might happen and to what you think might not happen. But judging by how the way it ended, it definitely does seem like a sequel could be made anyway. And that's really all I got to say for about Talk To Me. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was, it was, again, a surprisingly entertaining movie. I think that it might be an unexpected box office success because of how because of how good it's doing. And, you know, when this sequel come out, we'll look to see what, what it has in store. So, until then, this is Ryan A. Polk with the wrap-up. If you like this video, hit like. Feel free to, to subscribe below and what you thought about the movie if you have seen the movie or this review. And if you want to see more reviews from me, you hit that subscribe button to see more reviews. Also, I did forget to mention this when it came to talk to me. How can I forget about these two things? It's grade and how many stars I give it. So for its grade, I give it an A out of five stars. I give talk to me, I give talk to me three and a half out of five stars. So yes, and should you wait for it to go to the red box or go see it, I recommend you go see it. Definitely go check it out. All right, that's it.